Welcome to Linux Person channel. So in this video, we are going to see how what is mounting and what is unmounting. Uh, basically, mounting is nothing but uh, attaching the file system to the directory structures. Which means if you want to, after creating the partition and if you want to uh, make the partition active, you need to mount that file system to some mount point directory structure. So after mounting only, the user can be able to access the content from the partition. So always you have to create a mount point directory then by using the command called mount you have to attach that partition to some mount point directory structure so basically unmounting in the sense if you want to safely detach like uh, uh, in windows operating system if you want to enable and disable the local area connection means we used to do right right click properties and enable disable the same the partition you can do it by using the unmounting you can safely detach the file system from its mount point directory tree so we use the command call u mount to unmount any file system uh, from the directory structure so in this example first i will show you how to mount then after that i will show you how to unmount the file system first let me check how many partitions are available in my hard disk by using sorry the fdisk hyphen l command i have added this fdisk space hyphen l so here I can see I have two partitions dev as day one which is the default partition and the second one is dev as da2. So to check the currently mounted file system information you have to execute the command called df-h. So currently only one partition in active state dev as day one. So now I want to bring the partition dev as da2 to the active state. So let me create the folder first mkdar and the folder name is iob now to mount so mount is the command then the file system you are going to attach is dev as da2 so where you are going to attach that location you have to give so below parent directory the folder name is iob enter that's it now to confirm execute the df hyphen h command once again enter so now here you can see right the partition has been successfully mounted under slash iob so now you can access the content from uh, the iob partition now if i want to unmount means the command is u mount you can use the mount point directory name or you can also use the file system name so as you wish you can execute this command uh, first i will try it with the mount point directory name so u mount iobb enter now check df hyphen h command so the dev as da2 is disabled right so like this you have to safely detach the mount i mean file system from its mount point directory tree now to bring it back to the active state again execute the same command mount dev as da2 followed by the mount point directory name then confirm it by using what df hyphen h now you can see what dev as da2 in active state so like this you have to mount and unmount the file system in unix like operating system thanks for watching to learn more about the linux operating system or the red hat enterprise you can visit my blog it's www.linuxvasant.com so here you can find uh, so many stuffs uh, you can learn the basics of unix as well the red hat uh, networking you can go to the categories you can find so many stuffs or it's a networking uh, red hat enterprise servers uh, topics shell scripting solaris unix and many more you can find it so kindly subscribe and uh, support us thank you to learn more about the linux operating system or the red hat enterprise you can visit my blog. It's www.linuxvasant.com. So here you can find uh, so many stuffs. Uh, you can learn the basics of Unix as well the Red Hat uh, networking. You can go to the categories. You can find so many stuffs. Or it's a networking. Uh, Red Hat enterprise servers uh, topics. Shell scripting. 
Solaris, Unix and many more you can find it. So kindly subscribe and uh, support us. Thank you.